Good evening all. Oh, I've been working on this machine all day. This is the Brunel Freestar. It's a reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder. Obviously, um, I've got to work on the deck next, but the amplifier has been totally rebuilt. All new components, except for the smoothing cap, but that seems to be all right. It's fine. It's not getting hot or anything. I just had it on a while ago, just for a little while. But watch it's plugged into the mains. But it's plugged into an isolation transformer, so it should be okay. So it isolates me from Earth. The amplifier is working beautiful. I'm just trying it with a microphone. This one I do sing with normally. And um, it's fine. Blast out. It's really good. Excellent. But because the uh, amp is not connected to the tape deck, um, there's the uh, inputs to the tape deck. Um, I'm not really sure if I should really operate it without the tape deck because the, the power supply section, that thing there, gives off a certain amount of current to power both the amplifier and the deck. And if it's powering, the, uh, sorry, giving too much power because the, uh, as I say, the deck is not in place, the motor's not connected. That's where it connects to over there, that black thing there. Uh, so I don't know whether I should leave it on very long, but I'll turn it on just for a little while, just to show it's all working and the amplifier's all done. All lovely new components. So there we go. Yeah, it had all these waxy ones, look at that. Yeah, dripping wax everywhere. My God, I'm surprised it even worked at all because the people I bought it off, they powered it up and I said, well, do you mind if you don't really? Because you're not supposed to power things on when they're over 60 years old with dodgy components like that. These are all the waxy ones. I'm not gonna touch it, it's all, yeah. Dripping of wax, these things. But anyway, I put all modern components in there. See these little red, little red things there? They're the new capacitors. Got one little tiny one in the front for one of those little uh, kits. You can get these kits with a set of, um, we call it capacitors in it. I don't know if you can see that. One little small one. Where is it? There we are, hiding behind there, little black thing. And uh, plus all the other ones, all been done. So there we go. Funny though, I'll tell you what, it's so sensitive this machine, the amp. I'm actually receiving a radio station when I plug in the jack. You're, gonna, <laughs> you're not going to believe this, but I'll show you. Right, let's power on. Is it off, on, right, it's on. There we go. I like the um, rudimentary uh, indicator there. There's just a bar behind these two little plastic strips and uh, depending on where you've got it, whether it's on playback, there we go, whether you've got it on playback or record, so literally when you flick this switch over to record, it puts the little red indicator in front of the bulb. So that's playback at the moment. Then you switch this over, click, <laughs> that's record. Look at that, and the amp is great. There's a lot of humming at the moment because it's not connected to um, a deck. See when I touch it? So it's very sensitive. But if I put it on amp, uh, let me put it on, let me, uh, tell you what, let's push the plug in. Let's put it on amp. Look, radio station. Can you believe that? Sounds like Radio 5 Live. That's a very strong station. Look, if I unplug it. That's acting, the cable is acting like an aerial. <laughs> you believe that? Never seen that before. There we go. A tape recorder without a radio, but now it's got one. Brilliant. <laughs> Let's show the uh, record. Oh, there's the magic eye. Look at that beautiful thing there. Still picking up the radio station, but once it's ground to the tape heads, it should be fine. There we go, let's see, is it, uh, no, hang on, no, it's not on the uh, record, is it? Right, now it is, right, there we go, oh, one, two, one, two, what's that little crackling, oh, I think it's the connectors, they haven't been used in years, that's it, magic eye, you can't beat a magic eye, look at that, one, two, one, two, testing, Oh, well, I bless a man, so the worst around with me. I meet you like a man on a fuzzy tree. My friend said, my good love is a bug. I'm in love. <clears throat> I'm all shook up. Ooh, you see that? So when the the two lines of, um, the two green lines meet, that's when you've got maximum level. Let's uh, turn it up a bit more. See? Ah, uh, so there you go. Ah, uh, so there you go. Ah, uh, 
see. Ah, uh, that's maximum level. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, one, two, one, two, one, two. So there we go. It all works. Let's put it on PA system there. But I'm going to pick up the radio station. PA is at the bottom. I don't know if I'm straining the power supply. I don't really want to do that because there's no motor connected. Oh, one, two. Oh, nothing now. What's going on? Oh, yeah, it's not high enough, is it? Picking up the bloody radio station. I think I'm gonna be sad. I think it's today, yeah. The girl that's driving me mad is going away. Ah, she's got a ticket to ride. She's got a ticket to ride. John Lennon, that's supposed to be. Look at that, PA works, but I'm picking up radio station. Oh, fuck. Oops. Did I just swear? <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to do that. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry about the swear word there. Because I mustn't do that because it damages the speaker. Well, it can do. God. See, it's hard to do things with one hand with this. I need to get a tripod for this. One, two. One, two. <laughs> Hope I don't damage the speaker now. Oh, God. One, two. Oh, uh, one, two. Yeah. Is it okay still, the speaker? I think I'm gonna be sad. I think it's today. I think it's alright. I hate doing that to a loudspeaker. It can really damage it. The voice coil on it. I'm not sure. Oh, uh, one. Oh, uh, one, two, three. Let's turn the bass up. Oh, that radio station is annoying. That's the treble. Oh, uh, one, two, one, two. Let's try the bass. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. Five, four, three, five, four, three, two, one. Uh, I hope I ain't damaged the damn speaker now doing that. I hate doing that, I really do. It's one of my bugbears howling on the speakers. One, two. No, that seems all right to me. Testing, one, two, one, two, one, two. No radio station, what the hell? Let's put it on record. Eleanor Rigby. No, that's not record, that's tape. That's record. All the lonely people. There we go. One, two. See, it's picking up the radio station as well. Can you see that? It's on record mode. One, two, one, two. Right. That's enough of testing. That's working fine. And I caused a howl, which I didn't want to do. I hate doing that. I really hate doing that. Um, I think it should be all right. I think they're made to take a bit of howling sometimes, but one, two. And that should be on PA. Oh, I'm not getting the radio station there. Eh? Have I buggered something up? One, two, one, two. Radio station's gone. How weird. One, two. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hello. One, two, one, two. Oh, well, I blew some my asshole. Or was it only on the radio input? Oh, I can't remember now. That's weird, where's that station gone? What the hell? That's strange. That's weird. Station's gone now. How weird is that? Could have been a bit of skip at this time at night. It's uh, half past 25 to six, not actually. Could be the skip. The signals get very strong on medium wave. Ah. That's weird. Wow. It's gone. <laughs> How extraordinary. Oh, yeah. What's it on there? All right, let's record. One, two. Bit of crackling there. I think it's the knobs. A bit dirty. Yeah. One, two, one, two. Still working all right. One, two. One, two, one, two. Yeah, you won't hear nothing because it's on monitor at the moment on record. Oh, back in. Radio station's back. It's fading in and out. Yes, yeah, this time at night, it's the skip. That's why you always pick up uh, medium wave radio stations uh, better at night. Have you noticed that? I'm just checking the capacitor. That's the filter cap for the power supply. You've got to be careful. Make sure it's not hot. If it's really hot, then it's time to change it. You know what? It's okay. It's 
picking up a bit of heat from the rectifier valve over there that one there so it's getting just slightly warm because of the rectifier the valve now it's fine it's not getting hot let's try the amplifier rectifier the smoothing cap rather cold as ice it's fine yeah valves all lit up that's the EL84 screened as well it's got a screening can around it now I know why it's got a screening can it tends to pick up radio stations one and one and one is two one and one and one is two Beatles song that it's not me I can count come together right now over me sounds rude that don't know that Beatles song what the hell Sorry about this, I swore earlier on, oh, just, uh, I don't like that howling noise. Can't stand it. Do apologise. Oh, radio station again. I think it's an Indian station. Can you hear that? Oh, the phone's interfering with it now, brilliant. Yeah? The, this type of equipment is so sensitive, it really is, you know, it picks up even the RF and the phone. Picks up everything. So I think I've done a good job. I think that was a, a successful job. What do you reckon? I reckon it was. Until I get the tape deck in. Oh, it's even louder there. <laughs> oh. uh, I'm not going to swear. Done it again. What the hell? That was a bad one. I'm too near you, so I'm far too near. Hello, is it still working? Yeah. Bloody hell, I hate doing that. God. Well, the amp's working, isn't it? One, two, one, two. Have I buggered up the speaker? No, probably not. Still okay. But it can cause damage, as I said. hate doing that. I need to get away, and I've got this damn phone. I want to get one of these tripods and stick it somewhere so I can film. I've got to hold it in my hand while I'm doing two other jobs. It's ridiculous. One, two, one, two. Final test. T final test of the amplifier. Yep, that sounds good to me. Let's turn the bass up. Let's see if that's working. One, two, one, two. Yeah, that sounds better. Treble. I don't want to keep this on for too long without the motor. One, two, one, two. Yeah, that sound, that's all working. Well, you, as you heard from the uh, howling, mine just better getting some howling than nothing at all because at least you know the amp's working. One, two, one, two. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Hello, yeah. Okay, that's enough. Before I blow the speaker up, then I've got to buy a, another one of these speakers from somewhere, which are hard to get hold of. These elliptical type. So there we go. I think this was a success. Until I get the tape deck in, then I'll really know for certain. But it all seems good. That's it, that's the hum. Cause that's, that's not fed into anything at the moment. But that's good, that's a good sign. Yep, yeah, no burning, smell it. Always give a good smell to the circuitry when you're going on for a while. Can't beat your nose. <laughs> no, nothing. Always check for the components, see if there's any smoking going on. You should really plug it into a Variac when you're doing all this stuff. I have got one, but too lazy to use it. I can smell the valve burning, so old dust. Components are okay. Call that smell of old... Uh, Burning dust, my god. Right, I think I'm gonna turn it off now because I don't really want to keep it on. I'm not sure if I should keep it on without the uh the we call it the motor plugged in. Might be causing a drain on the uh, not a drain, it might be overloading the um power supply because it's giving out a certain voltage to um power up the, the deck in the amplifier. Because I know on the other models, you can't do that. You're not supposed to. You can, but you're not supposed to power the uh, unit up without a deck in place. Because it's got, um, it's, you know, it's got too less of a load, if you see what I mean. Right, that's it. Turn it off before I blow it up. And so the next test is, um, well, the next thing I've got to do, I've got to service the deck. And it's got two belts. I just hope the belts are okay. That's the only thing that might let it down is the two drive belts. But I'm going to try to clean them up to the best of my ability because you can't get these belts from anywhere. So, you know, I've got to just do what I can, really. But at least the amplifier's all done. As you heard, Harvey blowing everything up. 
There we go. It smells of burning dust in here. That's all it smells of, dust burning. So what you do, just do a little, uh, there's that uh, flashlight. Flashlight, you've seen it to the States. Now where's my flashlight when I want it? Every single time I want the flashlight, it's never here. Oh my God, sorry about this phone jumping around all over the place. I'm trying to find this. Oh, there it is. Stupid bloody thing. Right. Just, oh, now the batteries are going funny on it. Oh, God. Yeah, our new components are all all right. There's no smoking. Uh, just dust. I think there's a bit of dust in these um, valves here. I'm just going to put a brush in it in a minute when it cools down. Stick a brush on the top. Yeah, it's burning dust. Let's check there. Touch that. I bet that's hot. Oh, sugar. Ah, that is very hot. That valve there. That's the output valve. Whoa, that is hot. That is one hot valve, that one there. That's damn hot. That's the output valve. And it's got some sort of shielding around it. Ah. There we go. Yeah, these um, output valves get very hot, by the way. The EL84s, they get very, very hot. It's normal. All right. Let me just... Uh, you're probably finding this so boring. Let me turn the uh, power off first. Even though it's on the ice. <gasps> what the hell was that there? The torch. Brilliant. That's it. Drop the torch now. Oh, God. That's right. Solid aluminium, this torch, anyway. No harm done. It's just on, fell on concrete. That's the only thing. Oh, God. Oh, well. It's rubbish, anyway, this torch. I don't, don't really like it. Yeah, so, anyway running out of space to put things in, in this kitchen kitchen workshop oh running out of space seriously what a nightmare so if i win the lottery i'm going to buy myself a huge house with a huge workshop in a huge triple garage and that's what i need and get out of this place i gotta get out of this place da -da 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 -da. I've got to get out of this place. There is a better place for me and you. Right, let's check the uh, components for heat. That's the valve. That's all right. Just doing a little check around. Finger probe. Cool capacitor. That's brand new. Another brand new one. That's cool as ice. A little yellow one there. Look at the difference in size from the original. I'll show the original. size difference wow i hate doing that howling business you know what you can really you can damage the speaker actually you can burn out the voice coil and the voice coil inside the little tiny windings that make up the coil the voice coil uh, that's cool uh, just hot valves that's all or tubes as you say in the states no it's fine Right, so next thing is the tape deck. Right, so anyway, this is, as I said, this is the Brunel uh, Freestar. I think it's made in around about 50, no, 62, 1962. And it's the domestic version of the other machines I've been fixing. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed this um, boring video. <laughs> boring myself. But there we go. That's it. Great. Next stage is the uh, tape deck. Anyway, I better go. Catch you all later. I'm going to get a tripod for this damn thing and set it up. Put the phone in the tripod so you know, I can set it in one spot up there or something like that. I can't keep holding things and plugging in things. It just doesn't work. Right, better go. It's 20 minutes nearly now. So anyway, a bit of a success now. That was a good rebuild. That's it. Lovely. It's got a lot of power. Right, I'll catch you all later. I'm going to go now and have a cup of tea. I need it. Bye for now.